Recently, a YouTuber by the name of Bjorn Andreas Bull Hansen put up a video about paganism and his connection with nature. And he made some claims in that video that I find troubling, and I would like to talk about my view of the same subjects now. Bull Hansen is a novelist and YouTube vlogger specializing in Viking culture, bushcraft, and other various outdoor topics, as well as some fairly controversial political stances. He is described as a low-tech man in a high-tech world, and I've enjoyed several of his outdoor videos and appreciated his generally conservative and moral outlook on life. Recently, however, Bull Hansen turned from carving sticks in politics to religion, specifically paganism. Now, if he were just some hippie tree hugger, I wouldn't have given him a second thought, but given his character and audience, the problematic assertions he made were more troubling and I think deserve a reasoned response. So I hope Bull Hansen won't simply dismiss me as an emotional troll, as he has others who have called him out for his video, and if he or his audience sees this video, I hope you'll give it some consideration. Paganism, as it is usually understood, is the worship or veneration of deities typically connected with nature. So in Bull Hansen's case, because he is a Nordic person, he is talking about Thor, Odin, these kinds of gods or deities that are specifically connected to certain natural phenomena or things in our world. So in Bull Hansen's video, he celebrates the fact that some young people in Europe are turning back to paganism, specifically in his case, Viking or Nordic paganism. He says that this gives him hope for humanity. Now, one of the most important things to understand from Bjorn's point of view is that this paganism has to do with symbolism of nature and man's psychology, and he considers it both rude and ignorant to consider it to be worship of creation. In other words, worshiping the creation rather than the creator. Bill Hansen says that he has a very special connection with nature, something he can't even really put into words and he indexes this to Norse pagan mythology. He says that this heritage must be protected and that if everybody would just kind of be themselves and go back to their roots, it would solve a lot of conflict. He's also quick to point out that he doesn't have a problem with other cultures, although that does seem to be somewhat contradicted by something he says earlier in the video where he blames Christianity for getting rid of or at least pushing down Nordic paganism in the first place. Now I'm going to have something to say about that on another channel that I'd like to tell you about, but for now I just want to look at this question of paganism and connection with nature. Now Bull Hansen makes it clear that he does not like this idea that he is worshiping the creation. He doesn't exactly say why, but he says it's ignorant and rude to say so. Now I have to think that this has something to do with his assertion that paganism is symbolism, this rich symbolism of nature and human psychology. But pretty much every text you read does not describe paganism that way, and Bull Hansen is free to practice whatever religion he wants and tweak it in any way he wants to suit his personal taste. But to call other people ignorant because they say what is the standard view is a little unforgiving. Simply having a connection with creation is fine, but that's not what paganism is. It's not just symbols. People don't make sacrifices to symbols. If Bull Hansen would like to demythologize Nordic paganism and treat it as a modernistic type view, that's fine, but don't also try to connect that to the paganism of tradition, culture, and the past that you'd like. That's not fair. Now, Bull Hansen says that he can't quite put into words what his feeling with nature is, and I understand that. I have the same kind of feeling when I am in the great outdoors. The question is how to explain this experience, and I think that here Christianity has something to say. It makes perfect sense that a person would feel this deep connection with nature and in awe of it. Creation reveals the creator. And just as I can be in awe of a painter by looking at the painting or in awe of a composer because of the beautiful music that that person creates, when I look at creation itself, all the more I am in awe of its creator. And when it comes to this spiritual connection with nature, Christianity has no trouble with that either because we are a part of it. To extend the analogy, when we look at a beautiful painting, we not only can be in awe of the painter who painted it, but also connected to it because we are actually part of the painting. We are some of the notes in that beautiful musical score. And so 
when that connection and that awe are put together, it's easy to see why some people would venerate nature or worship nature. In the same way that we can somewhat understand someone's confusing their awe of a painting with the painter or of music with the composer, it's understandable that some people would confuse those spiritual feelings that nature generates with nature itself, which they are actually a part of, rather than elevating to the creator of those things. So I don't deny the pagan's intuition of connection and awe of nature. In fact, I share it. Where we disagree is in our explanation of that phenomena. What actually is causing it and what should our response be to it? And I think it's clear that this experience is ubiquitous across many different faiths. Hiking certainly is not dominated by any particular religion. So if you are like me and many others and feel a very close connection to nature and even an awe when beholding some of it, that doesn't mean that you have to have any particular interpretation of that experience. Simply because paganism has elevated creation to the level of creator, that doesn't mean you have to. And it doesn't mean that they have the upper hand in that phenomena's explanation. I actually don't know very many people that don't feel a spiritual experience when they bother to get out into nature. The question is, how do we explain that? Nature is incredible, and as part of it, we should feel a connection to it. In fact, many people describe the discomfort they feel when they go too long without reconnecting with nature. And that makes complete sense because we are part of it. When we are surrounded by artificial things all the time, we lose that feeling of connection. It is also not at all unusual for people to feel a sense of awe when they are looking at something incredible in nature, something that is far bigger than we are. It's often described as a feeling of smallness. You know, you realize how small you are. There is a reason that every time I come around Southside Drive and the trees part and I see El Capitan, I feel the same amount of awe every time. I'm a Christian. I know several hiking YouTubers that are, and some of them are actually quite popular. So when there is a spiritual experience that can be explained by different faiths, we have to go beyond that subjective experience to account for what is causing it. We have to elevate our investigation to that of objective truth. And that is something that I am going to be doing on my other YouTube channel. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, I actually have two YouTube channels. This one, Backcountry Pilgrim, which looks at hiking, camping, backpacking, climbing, and the gear that goes with it. But I also have a channel devoted to philosophy of religion, Christian theology, and apologetics. It's just called Douglas Beaumont. Pretty easy to find, but I'll put a link in the description below. If you are interested in my specific response to Bull Hansen's claims about paganism, and if you want to see the philosophical and historical evidence that I'm speaking of with regard to Christianity, I'm gonna actually be doing an entire series on my Douglas Beaumont channel very soon on that exact topic. All right, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, why don't you give it a like and subscribe to Backcountry Pilgrim if you're into hiking, camping, backpacking, and the awe that you feel in nature. If you are interested in my other pursuits concerning philosophy of religion, Christian theology, and apologetics, head on over to Douglas Beaumont on the YouTube channel or douglasbeaumont.com. Until next time, as always, thanks for watching.